Today I'm going to show you how to use the Puppet Warp tool to animate a GIF. So I'm going to copy my little illustration that I made and paste it onto my artboard as a smart object. So from here, I'm going to make my starting frame. We're going to go to Puppet Warp and we're going to add pins. These pins will not move when you don't drag it out. So for example, I can drag this and move it around and the whole body moves. But if I were to put a pin right here and move it, the body will stay still, but I, I want my character to move. So uh, I'm going to start my first frame and this position. After that, I'm going to drag this copy and move my straw to the next frame. From this point on, I'm just going to keep repeating the steps, drag it out, make another frame and keep going on from there. So once I'm done all of our frames, I'm going to unhide all the layers and only show the background. Uh, then I will go to window timeline and create frame animation. So from here, I'm just going to hide and unhide each layer and then add a frame for each layer. <laughs> and we're just gonna repeat the steps. Once that is done, we have this GIF so far, but it's not bouncing back. So what we want to do here is do the same thing that we did before, but go backwards. So we're adding the frames going backwards so it can go all the way back. Once we're done all of that, once we play it, it now goes back and forth. And that's our GIF so far. So right now, we just wanna go to File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. We wanna go to Preset and make sure it's at GIF 128 dithered. Make sure it's a GIF and have the loop be forever. Now all those options are done. We can now click preview and that's our GIF. So now that we previewed our GIF or GIF, we can now save this and name it however, whatever you like. Right now, I'm just gonna name this uh, Boba T. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. Now you can make your own GIFs or GIFs with Puppet Warp tool. Thank you.